Welcome back to Vegas Live with Nina. And I've just had the greatest compliment here. How um, actually Justin loves this show. This is Justin. How you doing? Tony. And this is Tony. And um, Justin is in the world of fighting. So we're going to have find out a little bit about the fighting world. But at the same time, before we go there, you were just saying how great this show is. And awesome. Amazing. It's perfect. It's so know. nice to have Nina, and it's so nice to be here. It's so nice to, for you to have us here. And down here at the iconic Pepper Mill, you couldn't yes. have a better venue or a better location to see everyone gathering down here to support the show yeah, and yeah. all your guests here having a great time. It's absolutely beautiful. It's, it's absolutely perfect, you know, for who I am and what I am. The Pepper Mill are our sponsors. They take care of us. They've looked after us for three and a half years with an absolutely an amazing scene. And, of course, I have my red couch. Yeah, absolutely. I love the red couch, all the ambiance, everything. And sometimes we have the mic going which you know seating sure. that's just part of the pepper mill some people say oh i don't like that sound well i happen to love the sound when i walk yes. back in here into the fireside lounge i just i feel at home you know it it's, is, it's it is an amazing nice. place so how long have you been in vegas on and off my whole life really? um, yeah i've been coming back and forth here my whole life from southern california i uh, moved out here in 2013 and then moved to Hawaii and been coming back and forth from there Where to in Hawaii? Since. Oahu. Oahu? Oahu? Yeah, so I was on the North Shore for a little while and South yeah. Shore as well. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Amazing place. And actually, I uh, got this shirt out there, yeah, one of the Tommy like Bahamas. Home, yeah. We uh, we inspired this uh, this run and they only made 600 of these and so this is number 433 and I wanted to wear this special. I never wear this, but for you, Neenon, I'm Isn't wearing that, it. See, this guy's just in your amazing. Now, Tony. You're sitting there, you're laughing, you're joking, you, you look a very happy guy. I am very, very happy and to be here. And why are you with this gentleman? Yes. Why? Why? Because we have partnered in some new venture, which is going oh. to help so many people in a very different levels that is going to bring happiness, nothing but happiness to the world. Well, we need that for sure, don't we? With everything that's going on, I like that, you know, I, I, and my condolence and everything goes out to the... Um, to the Notre Dame fire oh, in Paris. Um, I know Paris very well. Um, I've been there many times. In fact, my name is French, Ninon, that's French. And uh, the whole thing is rather a tragedy. Um, but I, I look at things a little different because I looked at it as they were rebuilding it. So yes. maybe now what happened, they now really have to totally rebuild it, which is maybe what they should have thought of doing in the first place. Perhaps. Yes. So we don't know. That's just, you know, my thoughts that maybe now they really have to do it because it was built in wood 800 years ago. I mean, yes. you know, it's nearly as old as I am. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> I go way back. I don't know where I, can, I, don't know where I came You're from. You're forever young. I'm forever young. There you are. I'm, I, I, I'm like Florida. What is that yeah. place in Florida? You're forever young. Youth Center, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, but you, uh, Ponce de Leon or something. Yeah, Ponce de Leon. <laughs> that's it. Ponce de Leon. <laughs> Anyway, now, um, Justin, what do you do? You're, you're in the fighting arena, so let me... In the fighting arena, I do stunts, I do all kinds of stuff. been an entrepreneur and an inventor for a long time, patented inventor, uh, which brought Tony and myself together. We're both inventors, and we came up with a system that we we're talking about called Ample Points, which Apple gives... Ample Points, what's gives, that? It's, a, it's an online monster. We're coming Ooh, out like that. with something new to disrupt the market and put something out in, there in where everyone agenda. can make um, everything. It's about marketing. So we've created the greatest marketing site a CMO could ever find. I want to market the show. Can we market the show? Absolutely. 100%, 100%. we monetize your show. You're going to monetize my show and put my show all out system. there? Not only we put the show, get you new viewers, we also going to make you money because... I like know. that part, money. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Joking apart, I love, love, love all the people that tune in and all the people that have supported me. Yes. Because without any of you out there, I don't have what I have. Absolutely. I wouldn't have you here. 100%. Yes. And it's 100% all the people. That, I might be here and I might do my thing, but at the same time, if I don't have... Like what you're bringing out, if you don't have the supporters. Yes. Now, how do you get the supporters for this new system? Is it already out? It is already out and uh, it's going to be uh, advertising very soon in the mass uh, platforms. Mm -hmm. But though, you know, the to sh show you the basic, you know, since the internet has been introduced to the mankind, right? Yes. Internet has been a very scary thing. People scared of it. They don't want to turn on You're the right. computer. Some people but are. now they're getting used to it slowly, slowly, it's slowly. It's all that time. It's take time, you know, because it's every new thing comes in the marketplace. Everybody's scared of it, new things. But people once do they not like change. Yes. I love change. Yes. Me too. You like change? I do. Love yeah, change. The change is like that. If you don't change with the time, the time change you. Yes, well, I don't want right. someone changing me. I want <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. like to make so, my choice on so, like, <laughs> Would you like the same thing? <laughs> See, that's why you're forever young, because yes, you I like am. changes. I you, love changes. You want to be I love the younger generation. 
I, I love these young people growing up with all their, um, their feelings of what's going on because they've been brought up in the computer world. You have more or less been brought up since you were young, because you're younger. You also, me, I kind of rolled into it. Sure. But at the same time, I was open to it. Yes. Yeah. Well, what happened is so many people are online surfing all day, every day, but they're not getting compensated for their time. So we created a site where everyone can get paid. Oh, I love this idea. I so love yeah. this idea. So because I've got, a, I've got two or three people that are also would love to be involved in something like this to get themselves out there as well. And yes. as you know, my show is to help other people. I have everybody on here to present their project like you're doing right Absolutely. now. Yes. And I have it there because there is not a, a television station or a television anywhere that actually caters to people that are they're not up here, and unless they're up here, they can get on television. So I'm kind of from down here to up there. Absolutely, I yes. kind of have all these people that can't get on television. Feeding the roots, and yes. Feed, and these are actually the people, um, and you can correct this, that are the people that can spend the money and the people that get involved, aren't they? Absolutely, a billion Absolutely. percent, yes. And you know, to have a, a strong here, a Vegas strong kind of family approach through yes. this show, for you yeah. to bring all the local talent and yes. the local who's who's, of Las Vegas here yeah. to get them publicized and get their names out That's there. That's the whole idea of it. It's amazing. So it, you educate, you're educating everybody on what they need to see. So when they come here, they come to the Pepper Meal, yeah. they get a nice meal, they can watch your show live, they can meet all the local talent, Absolutely. and then they can go out and enjoy the local talent shows and their operations and whatever they have And then they, they understand here. what Vegas is. Vegas isn't always the tourists coming in, though that's what we live on. Sure. But also, it's sort of grown into sort of a bigger place now. Absolutely. With the sports yeah. teams coming in, it's bulletproof the economy. So it's not just a tourist town any longer. You it know, is not. Surviving it is on not. a hotel. Well, T-Mobile. Look at T-Mobile with it's, all the facts. Oh, so know. gorgeous. That's one of the greatest venues in the world. Yeah, if you absolutely. Ask me. It's yeah. Excellent. They, so the Vegas Golden Knights coming in, and they got the Raiders coming, MLB's coming, WNBA's here now, you know, MLS is coming i think eventually the nba might make it here so it's really gorgeous it's really really it's an amazing it's, time it's, for las vegas it seems like this city has finally become a bona fide city where a family can live and you know really and really enjoy the, but flourish. also have enjoy a nice people. family but also have a nice school to go to i've known a lot of schools are sort oh, of God, opened bishop up. gorman's like a college beautiful, yes one of the most beautiful, beautiful schools in the world. and also they've opened up a lot of you have a lot of churches here now as well sure. beautiful churches and you have a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that, that I hopefully bring on so that people actually know what is going on in Vegas. Though I love the strip, I yeah. go to the strip, I go to the shows, I meet all the people and I love it, absolutely love it. So now, um, Justin, what is your main thing you're doing now apart from this platform you're bringing out? Uh, you've got several things. So many things going on. <laughs> I mean, we have uh, productions going on in Hawaii. We're doing things productions with in Hawaii, Hawaii 5 okay. and, and Magnum PI. I've been working with them, um, doing stunts and behind the scenes productions, and um, there's limitless. I mean, restaurants, hotels, bars, in, involved with the uh, game planning and and, and um, how's the gaming going? How's everything. the gaming going on in Vegas? Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, here you come here and you uh, you have everything you want at your fingertips. It's not just a gambling town any longer. I mean, not you have now. the best chefs in the world here. You can go on a Food Network tour through here and just try to eat at all the different chefs' the best, restaurants. I mean, the restaurants have they've got the greatest restaurants in the entire world right here in Vegas because they all want to be in the big hotels. Absolutely. Whether they make money or whether they don't make money, it's they great. don't care. You got the iconic brand Spago coming out. You know, you have all these other. You know, you got Emerald Lagasse with the place here and, and uh, Giada with the place here. Yeah, Giada, yes, you know, I mean, yeah. so many different. Mario Batali and, and uh, Robichon at the MGM and all these great restaurants. It's just incredible. You know, and I, I left out quite a few with Bobby Flay and some other guys that are here. But, um, you know, just based on that, it's, it's fun to come here just to eat. You know, so, so this town's become so much more than just gaming just gambling. Gaming. Yeah, well, that's but, the whole thing they've done. And they've even got entertainment outside of the strip now. And you've got a lot of great performers. Yes. Like I just had Kelly... Um, Clinton on and she's performing at the Alexis Park. Great. So you've got a lot of different things happening. She's been here for donkey's years and of course her husband as well, Clint Holmes, you know, he's performing. He's gonna come on the show by the way. But I think there's so much happening yeah, I think so much is happening that is different, that's expanding Vegas as of you know, what Vegas really was. Sure, yeah. absolutely. I mean the the day parties with the pools and the clubs yes. and the nightlife. It's unbeatable. Yeah. It's second to none anywhere in the world. This is the most steady there. Okay, you can have a booth in one of these big hotels. Only twenty five thousand yes. a booth for one night. But what you do here but is have, no, but you have the people that book them and have them. Exactly. Absolutely, and and it's worth every penny if you ask me. Yes. If you could brand yourself where it's a revolving door, people come in, they get your brand, and then they take it home with them to wherever yes. they're going. You have no better place 
in the world than to market yourself and brand yourself right here Absolutely. in Las Vegas. Absolutely. Well, that's what we're doing. That's right. So now we're coming, yeah, la, 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 la. <laughs> So now with what your platform, maybe we can get ourselves out a little bit more because this is what I've been striving for because I, I didn't want to go on regular television. I wanted to go on the internet because I happen to love the internet. And I, I know maybe I'm older and maybe I'm talking out, but I this is where I love the younger generation and I love the internet. And you're right in line I'm, with the future. Yes, you know, you're that's ahead where of the, the game. That's where the future is. It's, this is where we are. This is what, what's going on. I'm not going to say television is going out. I don't think it'll ever go out. Well, not ever, but who knows? Uh, in my time. And, and But that's that, and then you've got this, and I think it's wonderful. Now, what's your main thing? Is, is it this technology thing? Yeah, my, my main thing is technology, <laughs> that we have created a platform which is very balanced between consumer and businesses and the content provider like you. Okay. So everybody is getting benefit, same time, Yes. As we goes along, yes. And people are purchasing it, the food, and yes. they're also paying for your show. And your show is creating a lot more buzz to the public, yes. and they're bringing to the uh, business owner to get them more visibility. Absolutely. Right. So everybody's winning. Yeah, everybody's winning. The reason that I made my show and uh, my interview is short, which is anywhere from I go anywhere from ten minutes to probably twenty minutes. With you, I might go a little longer, but only because. The, the attention span of most people now is very short. Very short, short. yeah. Very, very short. short. Absolutely. So everybody says, Well, Nina, your interviews are so short. And I said, Well, that's purpose. And they said, What do you mean it's on purpose? I said, It's on purpose. Yeah, I mean, said, that's five to seven minutes is the average, I think, that you hold somebody on the yes, these days. Yes, I do. Yes. I try to keep it as short as possible because I want to keep it entertaining. Yeah. Yes. And I'm really presenting them, not me, though I talk a lot, but that's what I do. <laughs> and that's my thing. Sure. Just right. talking, that's you right. know, the voice. And Such a beautiful show. Thank it's amazing. You, thank you. Hey, and you guys stay on for more than seven minutes, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay on for the whole show. Don't forget. Um, so you actually are the person behind this platform. Yes. Um, how, how do you see it going, and how successful? Um, when you first started it, did you did you know that this would sort of kind of come into fruition, and that you'd be able to have this thing moving along? Did you know that? Yes, I. That it is like a kind of a vision came in the middle of the night. I was trying to figure it out that how to fix the problem of internet, how internet work for businesses, how internet work for consumer, where nobody gonna steal your information. That's steal the main your thing. thing. No one stealing so your stuff. If, if consumer get paid whatever they sell on the internet, yeah. right, and they can you make that money and spend it to the businesses. They wanna yes. buy food. They wanna get a haircut. They wanna pay okay. the groceries. Yes. I know that's very valuable to think. Yes. Right now, seventy five percent and more. America has less than thousand dollar in their bank account. So yeah, it's funny you should say that because that came over on the uh, stock exchange market here in Vegas, and they said a majority of people only have a five hundred to a thousand dollars. Yes, that's all they have. And we are here to increase their buying power. Now, what happens if something really does happen? Like yeah. you know, you've only got a thousand dollars, you've got three kids to feed, a husband to feed, and one's out of work. <laughs> yeah, and what happened? Because there, all these people has tensions, their stress, because of they cannot make enough, they cannot meet the end. So we are here to fill that gap. I love it. We this are here to make inventions. their life, basic life, better. And yeah. you know what doesn't what, else? what doesn't stop there? Well, you know, go ahead. When somebody gets injured, nobody stops surfing on the web. Right. Everybody still stays on their apps. They spend well, they most of their time escaping into the internet and hiding online. They still stay onto them. Sure. Yes. So what we've done is given them an ability to make value online and to create money for themselves online during that time. So if there was a hardship in the family and they were spending their time hiding online and surfing through their pages, they'd be making money for it. I like that because I think that, you know, unfortunately we are a world, and I mean a complete world, of making money. And it seems to me everything is around, revolved around money. Sure is. But why wouldn't it be? Because that's what gets us Motivated. to where we, well, we have to have a car. We don't have to, but we need a car. We have to have a place to live. I mean, whether it's a shack or whether it's a mansion, it's still got to pay for it. Something's exactly. got to come somewhere. Absolutely. So, you know, it's like I was saying the other day, I said, you've got the people that have less education, the people that got more education. Well, if you didn't have these people with less education, who's going to do all that work? Exactly. So, I, I always think God has done a great job of creating all these different people to do all these different jobs. I yeah. mean, you think about Couldn't it. Couldn't agree more. Now we have the internet mm -hmm. where I think, you know, and you're talking about people can't steal because there's still a lot of stuff, oh. but, you know, you can't. If they didn't steal it on the internet, they used to steal it somewhere else before. So it's always been that way, yes, unfortunately. Sure. unfortunately. But that's the way humanity is, and that's the way we all are. 
Um, what's been your greatest moment in your life? Because you seem to have done a lot of stuff. Gosh, so you know, what, I mean, having you know, my daughters is, is daughters obviously... Daughters, You have to say that. You have to yeah, have two daughters, 17 and 10, Alexandria and Charlotte. 17. Love you, love you babies. Hey, 17-year-old, yeah. you behave yourself and listen to your dad. Please, <laughs> please, please, tell her again. And know, also, what was the other one? Charlotte, Charlotte. 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 And Charlotte, you, you're so young out there that you can listen to your sister, <laughs> and your sister will help you because she's listening to her dad. So That's right. it's like a little circle, and I presume mum's in there somewhere. Yeah, uh, she's somewhere. She's but somewhere. There's, uh, <laughs> she's okay. keeping the whole package together. That's right. She's doing hard work for, for the girls. She's doing a good job. But I... I was really proud of Lexi this year. She went out and uh, wrestled her second year out. She uh, took it on all on her own and almost made states. One away from states this year, her second year out. I thought it was beautiful. So what's going to happen her next year? Her coaches did a great job. Hopefully she'll go she'll on to a college. Next year. Hopefully she'll go on to a college and, and uh, walk on and wrestle and have a great time. You know, so I think she's she in really the wrestling business. It. Yeah, she will. Hopefully, maybe eventually now, do one you, day. You, do you ever wrestle? I, mean, I sure did. I was a six-time tag team champion for the cool. UK. Now we're going to have the good stuff. Now here and, uh, comes the good stuff. And, uh, excuse me. And, uh, no, no, I had a small deal with WWE for a brief time, which I forewent to keep fighting and going to Japan and wrestling over there and doing all kinds of stuff, working with Antonio Inoki, Senator Inoki, and um, helping develop New Japan Pro Wrestling here in the United States with the Inoki Dojo in Santa Monica in the early thousands. We had LA Boxing, which was a huge, huge... Oh, I know LA Boxing. I used to do shows down there. There you go. So we had LA Boxing in uh, 65 locations nationwide, which we all ended up selling to the UFC. So all the UFC gyms that you see around used to be the LA Boxings, and that's part of our family's IP and some of the offerings that we've given to the sport of mixed martial arts and, and um, the, the industry in general. And, you know, beyond that, my greatest um, moment... My greatest moment um, was understanding that I'm enough for myself. Believe it or not, I could sit here and talk about uh, moment after moment, win after win, victory after victory, but I think really in life, all of those things are just moments in time, and they're significant to a point, yeah. but what's really significant is if you've mastered yourself and you've learned yourself and you've become one and, and you have peace of mind, and that was the most important moment in my life. And is that, that is what you're doing right now. Absolutely. And you're at peace with yourself. Yes. Um, that means that when he says he's at peace with himself, that means he's not afraid of not having money. It also means he's not afraid of giving to other people and being kind and understanding that it's not all himself. But on all that, what I just said, um, you have to be at peace with yourself before you can be help everybody else out there and that's so what you that's what you've conquered yes ma'am did you conquer yes. that too absolutely oh, see isn't that lovely so the three of us sitting here that are peaceful because it's not about me yes uh, it never has been about me yeah. I've, I've been very fortunate not to be jealous of that and when i hear two people like you that are very prominent in the world of doing what you're doing and you're changing you're actually both changing life yes through the internet as well as with the boxing and whatever else you did um, you're changing life, you're putting out there, you're doing it. And it's very hard to do that. And you've both achieved that. Um, younger generation, what message would you like to give to the younger generation? To the younger generation? They've been, they've been crucified at the moment. I would say look to your elders for good advice on how to keep traditions intact that will keep us and our values wholesome moving forward through the future. There's so much disinformation out there. There's so many traditions that are being lost in our in our in our society that yeah. I feel that that's just the biggest thing we need to hold on to of is course. that link between the the elders and the young in the past and the future and yeah. how to keep the Beautiful. lessons understand them all because history does repeat itself and we will fall on our face and we will make the same mistakes if we don't listen to the lessons if you of don't make past. a mistake you can't learn exactly. yeah. so I see these millennials out there today and I think they're great a lot of people are very critical of them but I see them as maybe the saviors of the future. Oh, they're know? definitely the saviors. I younger I had a voice. My show was called Voices of Tomorrow, and I I treated them as our voices coming up. I'm going to be gone. They're going to be ruling. So you know, take care of them. We need to teach Look them, train them, them well, teach put our arm around them. Yes, put our arm around. So you love them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure you do that with both your daughters. Oh, I mean, yes. you have to. You don't have to do that, but it's advisable to do that. Sure. You have children. Yes, I have four children. One of my son, uh, three daughters. My son is just graduating from USC and oh, he's wow. getting three degrees at the same time, computer science and master's school of uh, business wow. and uh, computer information system. He doesn't look, he doesn't look like he has a 17 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you no, it's 22 <laughs> years. I have a 22 year old and my daughter oh, you have is... Oh, a 22 uh, year old? Oh, yes. My and my daughter is in uh, 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 Moorpark College. He's okay. a, she's a PR director okay. there. 
And I'm very, very fortunate to have the children like that and couldn't be happier more. What about your wife? My wife, she's a is stay it, home is mom. Is it the same wife? No, I have a, a married second time. Second time. My okay. second time, I have a, a wife, I have two small daughters, okay. and one and three, okay. and they're just truly adorable. So you're sort of, you, you, you created, did it, and then you started all over again? Yes, that got I did. Keeps, that will keep them so young. Just for the young. But no, so thank you for divorcing now, because you've, you've been married a long time, right? No, no, no. I, second wife? No, well, see, I never, wife, I've never been wife? married. I don't know. Never been married yet. I was uh, oh. engaged twice to the mother of my children, um, oh. and uh, we just couldn't figure it out. But I love, I love the idea of getting married. It would be great someday. Yeah. To I don't woman. know. My uh, honey girl right now. Actually, when you said, do I tell people I love them? I tell everybody I love them. Even my guy friends, I'm getting off on. Okay, love you, bro. Talk to well, you later. I don't think it makes and, any difference. I tell Gwen I love them too, and I don't think that makes any difference either. Right? It's so, Come on, so, but I don't mean I love you, I love you. I mean I love you as a person. I mean, you yeah, know, exactly. people misunderstand sure. it. Like, yeah. Oh, you know, you love that? You know, like, no, I'm fine. Well, in Hawaii, we say aloha, and aloha means I aloha, love you, yes. hello, goodbye, so many different meanings. What is that one? Mary Kaleki Maka is a thing yeah, to right. say <laughs> on a <laughs> right. Hawaiian Hello. Christmas Day. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know a little bit. There you go. <laughs> a little bit of knowledge is very dangerous. Believe yes, it me, is. very yes, dangerous. It is. But I, I, yeah, I do shed love to everybody, you know. And, and my honey girl now would say, uh, you know, maybe I say it too much, too often to too many people. But I, I, I that's just who you are. Yeah, so I am. I so. do the same thing. Yeah. That's just who I am. It's beautiful. Yeah. You may not do it. You may do it. That's just who and you by are. By the way, have I said how wonderful you look today? Coco no, Chanel, but I'll take it any time. Coco Chanel, one of my favorite, most would, iconic would women like of fashion, and the, the would, earrings would you and the dress. Oh my goodness, you look phenomenal. Amazing. Doesn't Amazing. Ninon look phenomenal today? I love it. Amazing. Look Seriously. at those these two go. I take them everywhere I go. All respect uh, to your husband and your family, but you look Well, amazing. my husband actually passed away in 2004. I've never had a, a boyfriend since. I've had guys coming in and out of my life, but I, I, nothing, I, and I don't want to say competes or compares to him, but nothing does. Yes. He, I was married to him for 29 years, the most beautiful man in the world. I mean, really, really cool. And we just got on and we were just 100%. And I think that's very unusual. And he passed away and left me. Hanging in there, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. I'm doing my thing. There you go. I'm doing my thing. And he would be proud of me. Yeah, he would be. And he talks to me all the time anyway. I know that might sound ridiculous, but he does. He talks to me all. And also my mother and father, they're up there. They're all having a ball up there. Absolutely. But I'm having a ball down here. We're still here, baby. I know. We're still here. So we're going to get on your platform. I'm going to get your card. And we're yes. going to start making this thing work because yes. talk is cheap. Yes. So we're going to make an action. We, it's, I'm a big it's action, all about action. See, I'm that's what of. I love about it. Because you are, it's like a two things are waiting for each other. Yes. We were waiting for you and you are waiting for us. And there's always we, a time. We, the timing the is right perfect. Time, the right. So we coming together and creating this platform for, right. for mankind. Yes. This yes. will be example for we're every other company. We're for other people. So yes. what we're going to do, we three have been given our, our talents that we've given. And when you are given a gift, you have to share your gift. And most, a lot of people don't like that. They say, oh, you know, you shouldn't do this. You know. No, share your gift because yes. when we have a gift and we give it to other people, it can multiply. Yes. And then it can continue on down. And yes. like a singer, uh, they share their gifts. The pianist, they share their gifts. Boxing, you share your gifts. Technology, you share your gifts. Yes. So now we can share our gifts. And I think I'm talking too much. Another way, another way <laughs> we're giving back. The right thing. You're another. absolutely right. I totally 100% agree with you. All these people, we have a gift, so we have to bring the gift sure. out of yes. them sure. and share it with other, other people. world. Yes. And that gift becomes double. Yes. Of another course. way, another way we're giving back is uh, we created a a, um, a group called the IEC, the International Executive Council, that brings IEC. all the CEOs of the world together from the top firms and teaches how we can help each other and integrate mm -hmm. one another's you know business from models. From their knowledge to your knowledge, to what, so you can share what you are. Absolutely, and then we train. The youth too. We have a youth group that comes in from the high schooler level, and we're raising up some young, some young politicians now, there. That's what I like. Manicuring them and grooming them to help make a change in the world and, and be placed into society perfectly. And now. placed in the correct place so they don't waste their time out there trying to find right. where they need to be. Yes, absolutely. So, um, how can people reach you? Insane one on on uh, Instagram, uh, Justin McCauley on Facebook, and. Uh, uh, you know, I'll uh, be on Ample Points and FightersConnection.com. Yeah, it's limitless. You can find me almost anywhere. Hit me up anytime and uh, look forward to connecting with you and uh, marketing our site with Tony, with Ninon, yes. creating great value That's with it. her merchandise and everything else. And uh, 
I have merchandise. I have merchandise too. Oh, I do. It's I have a great. whole. I have a whole a whole line. Lazy Star. <laughs> yes. I do. It's have a whole good. line of clothing and everything. I have a whole lot of stuff. So and all of that works can, perfectly with Ample Points. Okay, because that can all be put out there and it can all, you know, it, it just works. It just yes. works. How can they reach you? You go to the same place? Yes. Um, okay. I'm going to give you all my information to you guys before we leave. And we are together. Yes. Everything we're working, we're working together so that yes. now you're with us. Yes. And we can create a different market place Absolutely. here. We can it create not, economy within economy. Okay, so what I'm going to say right now to close out, this is the birthplace, the Pepper Mill um, Fireside Lounge is the birthplace for us connecting to um, see that Vegas Live with Nina, which we've been on air for three and a half years now, so I now, and I keep getting support lately, so things are really going cool, right? Steve, things are going great. And so now I've got the two of them to help us go to the next level and the next platform and everything else but nothing happens by accident so just remember out there your turn will come don't give up um we'll be right back thank you Nina. thank you thank, thank you, you Nina. thank you so much thank oh, you mwah. kissy thank kisses you. <laughs> vegas live with nina take thank care you. thank you thanks <laughs>